Hey guys, Josh with Navigate the Wild. Little unexpected turn of events this evening. So this bobcat is walking through our backyard during the day. And so I grabbed my 22, shot it, perfect shot placement. So we're going to skin this bobcat and we're going to eat the meat. I'm gonna do a Euro mount out of the skull and we're going to preserve the hide as best as we can and the feet, I guess, because I've never done this before, guys. So again, this is perfect for Navigate the Wild. We are here to encourage and educate new hunters and anglers. So welcome to the channel. Just a tip, whether you are skinning a deer, a pig, whatever, I've learned from the Hushin crew, from Steve Ranello's crew on YouTube, you always go with the hair. And so what I've done, the first thing I've done is take an incision up near the anus, where the brown hair meets this beautiful spotted hair, and I've run a line all the way down to her ankles in the back. Then I did a really careful line all the way up the bottom of the tail. And we're going to wring out this front. We're going to do the same thing here. And then we are going to start to peel it down. Okay, so we're going to try to preserve all of this for a taxidermist. We have skinned a bobcat successfully. If you get a chance to go on to YouTube and check out Fred Elcher. Fred, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but you bailed me out tonight, buddy. Thanks for the great tutorial on how to skin a bobcat. We've got a beautiful bobcat hide, and I cannot wait to add this to the collection. So thank you. And that was a mature female. Look at that back strap, beautiful. So now that we took the hams, the shoulders, the back straps, and the tenderloin off the bobcat, we'll discard the carcass. I'm washing off all of the meat. We put it in the fridge and allow it to age for a few days on the bone. I've heard that that's very important. It's able to dry out, tighten up a little bit, and it makes processing a lot easier. At a later date, we're going to smoke the back hams and the shoulders, and then we're going to do something nice with the tenderloin and the back strap, maybe deep fry it or something. Mm -hmm. 